Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Dr. Stone Season 2, Episode 11 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. <laughs> no, <laughs> that is, that's too much. You always, always opt to get an anesthetic. Like, anesthesia is really, really good for a lot of surgeries, man. I mean, just about all of them. I don't see any scenario where you wouldn't want at least a numbing agent of some kind. I think this was during the American Civil War, or it most likely happened in a lot of wars, civil and otherwise, but when soldiers didn't have access to anesthesia and they needed immediate surgery, they used to just down a bottle of whiskey and hope for the best. I mean, that was the best painkiller they had. I do like this setup though. There's an IV and there's a little like pouch of blood. Well, it's a clay pot full of blood that's actually open. I want to, yeah, you probably don't want to have it exposed to the air in the cave. I don't know what Senko's thinking with that one. And I wonder, how do they even know what blood type Skasa was? Like most people don't know what their blood type is just off the top of their heads. I wonder how they figured that out and who was the lucky person to donate their blood to use for the surgery. <laughs> Even Sukasa knows that he is going to die, which that's most likely going to be the scenario here. And death by sepsis kind of, it, it's an ugly way to die. It's, um, uh, sepsis is a condition where your immune system, while it's fighting, um, fighting off a bacterial infection, like in the blood, for example, it'll release a lot of chemicals to fight the infection, but in this process, it actually will attack even your healthy organs, and it'll cause them to fail, and basically your immune system is killing you. There are three stages of sepsis, and by the time you hit the last stage, which is septic shock, it's very, very grim. I don't believe the patient has more than just but a few hours left to survive. That's a really weak refrigerator. All they're doing is pumping the hot air out of a chamber. It's, that, that's really not very effective. In modern refrigerators, there's a liquid solution called a refrigerant, and that's circulating all throughout the inside of the fridge, and that will evaporate into a gas, and anything that the gas touches gets cooled down. There's also insulation on the door side of the fridge, which actually keeps all the cold air in and the hot air out. その。つまりだ。マリオはキノコ食って本人でかくなった気になってるだけなんだよ。100億%減額だ。減額。Wait、wait、wait。I never actually thought about that until that was I remember as a kid just playing Super Smash Bros for hours on end and then every time I would taunt with Mario he would just get really giant and then shrink back down after like a few seconds and then he... Is he just tripping all the time on mushrooms? Like is that really what's happening? He's... Oh my gosh, Mar Mario is from Mushroom Kingdom, like... Is he just high all the time? Is that really what Mario's been up to? I, I, I don't know, this whole time I thought it was something... I just didn't question. I know this Italian plumber was just tripping all the time. Despite the, he was the antagonist and the villain for a majority of the story, but it's, 
I'm so sad that he died. I is is Sukasa the only casualty of the Stone Wars? I don't remember anyone else who died except for him just now. That's oh man, freezing somebody the way that Senku has shown here. I'm still pretty upset that he died. I don't know why. I really just didn't want him to, despite the fact that he killed Senku and continued to try to kill him and sabotage. I just didn't want him to die. I was actually kind of attached to this character. Moving on, the the way that they showed him being uh, frozen here in time, you know, quote unquote, this would actually kill you to the point where there's no, there's no reanimation, there's no regeneration or like reborn, like pretty much you're dead forever, forever. And like what I'm trying to get at with that is your, the human, the human body is mostly water, right? So when you freeze it like this, all of your blood just freezes and all of your organs will actually die because they're just frozen, there's no blood flow to them. And when water freezes, it expands. So your insides will actually just be outgrowing themselves and everything will just be destroyed. There's no recovery from that point. With that in mind, does the revival fluid pretty much provide Senku and everybody with immortality? Because if anyone is close to death, and once Senku figures out how to petrify them in stone, all you have to do is, you know, stone petrify them, use a revival fluid, and they come back healthy and not sick, right? Just like Sukasa's little sister, she doesn't have her heart condition anymore, but... I, I, I wonder, did he just find, like, the cure for everything? So... I really hope that they just continue this anime forever because I, I, I really want to see how this whole thing plays out. It, everything, the story is unique and brilliant and the characters are very memorable and I, I want to see Senku sail across the ocean and just invent everything. I, I love this anime, like it's, it's really really fun. I. I can't wait to make more videos on this. It's really exciting to see what's coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I can't wait till there's more Dr. Stone being made because I'm really invested in this anime. It's it's so cool, right? Like, I just can't wait till they make more of it so I can make more of these videos and so you guys can enjoy more of the content. This, I, I can't wait for more, man. In the meantime, if there's any other movie, TV show, or other anime you want me to watch, go ahead and put that in the comments, and I promise you I'll get to them as soon as I can. And until next time, you guys, stay fresh and stay golden.